Good morning, everybody. It's time to feed COVID. COVID is the little mouse that showed up at our house. She showed up and we managed to catch her in this trap. See, she tried to nibble her way in there at first because there was some peanut butter in here that she wanted and she didn't know how to get in at first. I'll show you how the trap works for those of you who are new here and haven't seen it yet. It works like this. You buy this trap, the mouse goes in here, do, 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 walking over here to try to get the peanut butter. And then this goes up and then the mouse can't get out. And then you can save her life instead of killing her. So this slides back on here. It's hard to do with one hand, but you get the idea. First she comes in here to hide underneath there because they like to hide into small spots. And that's the hole that she comes in, see? So we knew that we had a mouse in the house and we didn't want to disturb her, but we also didn't want her to be eating all of our food and pooping everywhere. So we decided to catch her humanely without hurting her. Today we have some food for COVID. I give her a bunch of different things and I let her decide what she wants. This is a cucumber. This is a piece of apple. These are two pieces of corn, walnut, and these are pumpkin seeds. But they're actually salted and toasted, so I don't know if they're good for her, but she'll decide if she wants to eat them or not. And these are three sunflower seeds. So I put these up here for now, and I'm gonna go and see our little mouse. Our little mouse has been staying in this box that we had in the garage. It's just an old box. You can see we keep the vacuum cleaner beside her little house because we're always cleaning it, so we just keep the vacuum there permanently. I'm gonna take this over here. Not disturb Bella, Bella's having a little sleep. Shh, don't wake Bella up. Bella's all confused because she hears me talking in the baby voice to COVID and she doesn't know what to make of it because it used to be that anytime I used the baby voice, it was just for her. And now I use it for the mouse as well. I guess it's just intuitive. So where do we see where do you guys think she is? So this is a whole big setup. I change it every day to make it seem like an adventure for her. You can see here she has a little bit of uh, apple from yesterday. She's taken a lot of little chewy, chewy bites out of it. She actually pooped on it. It's so strange. Mice don't seem to really care where they poop. They seem to just poop everywhere. I'm gonna put this in here. And this is yesterday's food. She seems to take part of the corn. And I don't know, she seems to take the middle out. I don't know, something like that. This is her water. That I actually just changed last night before bed. And this is lentils. So you see she had, she had lentils and rice. She ate a bit of that, but didn't seem to like it that much. Or maybe she just got bored of it. Let me put this away. Take this out of here. These are some shells. We just put these in here just to make it a little bit more interesting for her. Sometimes I, I hide the food under some shells like that. These are pistachio shells. Again, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Now I can pretty much predict where she's hiding. She usually hides these days in here, right in here. She made a little hole there because I introduced this new thing, but not necessarily. So I'm gonna take all of these pieces of wood, these are just random pieces of wood that I had, and I'm just gonna take things apart really gently because she, she, she could be in here, but she doesn't seem to go in there anymore. Whoops. She did at first, but then I guess she realized there's better hiding places. I brought her a few things from outdoors. Here's a pine cone, and here is a sock that I had. This was an old sock, and when I trimmed my hair, I put my hair uh, near the sock. Now sometimes she goes in here. I don't know if she's there right now. I'm just gonna gently take other things out of here first. See if we can find her. Now, people often say they wanna see COVID more often, our little mouse. We call her COVID and we spell it with a K because we wanted to have nice associations with that word. Not always a terrible uh, thoughts that go through our head. And this, but, the thing is, see, animals are here with us. They're not for us. So she's not here to entertain you guys. I know you all want to see her. I do too, believe me. 
but I try to be really respectful of her space and try to feel what she wants. I can't remember what I put in here. Oh, this was some sort of, yeah, I think this was another batch of lentils. I just can't remember. Every once in a while we have something, we, we bring it in there. Take this piece of wood out. So I, I also need to make sure that she's actually alive every day because we have no idea how old she is. I mean, she's, she could be a grandmother. She could have already been a grandmother by the time we, we found her, by the time she came into the little trap in our house. Here's some um, grass that she can kind of hang out in, move around if she wants to. Here's another log that we had outside. Now it's morning right now, so usually she's awake at night and probably trying to sleep right now. And we put this box in here just to give it a little height, make it interesting. And I don't know if she's managed to make a hole in the bottom of this box or not. It looks like she hasn't yet figured out that she can dig a hole in here and go inside. So this, these are just a bunch of branches um, that we t I took from outside. And I'm gonna shake that and I'm gonna, I'm gonna vacuum this whole thing. I have to take her out of here, vacuum or Get, do use a, uh, a little broom. Now another place that she sometimes hides is here. Let's see if she's in here. Do you guys see her? COVID. Nope. You see she's not in there right now. That's another place she likes to go. Um, let's see if she's in here. Are you in here, sweetie? I can't tell. Let me check first if she's in the sock. Are you in the sock? It feels relatively light. I don't think she's in here. Are you in here, precious? Are you in there? No. No, you're not. She used to go in there. All right, let me put these here. So, yeah. I guess she really is behind this. Now this is the tricky part because I really don't want to upset her or scare her. But at the same time, I just want to make sure that she's okay. So I put this, I'm gonna put this camera here for a sec. And I'm gonna try to open this. And see if I can see her. Sorry, precious, I don't want to scare you if you're in here. So I opened one side and she's not on that side. Now let's see if she's on the other side. I'll lift the top glass open. Move this one. Oh my goodness, look what she has done. I mean, she is a master. Look what she did, guys. So not only did she make a hole here, she's made a second hole there. So most likely she is behind this right now and wondering what the heck am I doing? Oh, is disturbing her little homes. Hmm? Are you okay? I just want to make sure you're alive. And if you're alive, I'm going to leave you alone. Okay, precious? Let's see. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Hi. Hello. Look what you did. You made a big hole in there. Aren't you talented? Hmm? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Remember, I'm vegan and I don't hurt anybody. I just want to see you. Oops. Yeah. There you are. And she goes to hide in the side there. Hello, little COVID. I brought you some food. Yeah. Let me see. I'm going to take this out. Just let everybody see you for a second. I'm going to clean up everything. And I'm going to put everything back after. Okay, little sweetie. Yeah. So she's she's nervous because she's like, what is going on? So I don't want to make her nervous. In a few weeks, we're going to let her outside because that's where she should go, back into nature. But I just wanted you to see the update. So this is COVID, our little mouse, who came into our house. And now she's doing... <laughs> She's making us very happy, but also kind of sad because I also feel bad for her that she doesn't have any friends and that she has to live in this box. I'm trying to make it as nice as possible. So that's it. That's the COVID update. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Bye bye. Doo, 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 doo.